All right, so what do we got here? We got some abstract art that I made today. We got this lovely painting with orange, white, purple, blue, like a beige-ish peach color. I think it's called peach. Like a light blue. Some red. That's just one of them. Here, I'll zoom out a bit so you can see it. You got all that. I'll even do it this way. That's how it's supposed to go, but feel free to hang it however you want. I also got this right over here. Different shades. Got some black, some red, maroon, orange, purple, blue. I got all kinds of colors in this one. The design's pretty cool too. I think it came out really good. You got this one over here. You got a lot of swirls. It's just every... I used all the same colors in all of these. This was the first one. It started off just as some swirls, and you can just really get lost in them. If you look at the detail, just look at that. It looks really good. You kind of go this way. Get all the different paints and colors. Let's look at that. Do a nice slow pan of the blue. If you're a UCLA fan, got the colors right there. If you're a USC fan, uh, I have another painting that you might like. For the most part, though, this is it right here. Looks good. So, what do you guys think? Definitely came out good. So I like to make these using, I call it the swirl, the spin, right? You gotta put a little bit of paint on here and then you spin around in a circle. You spin the painting around. You shake it and you spin it and you eventually get this. So when the paint is on the canvas, you just throw it like a Frisbee, if you know what a Frisbee is and uh, you get this spread effect, kind of like a wave. So it's pretty cool. But this one's really cool. This is my favorite one. Just because it's got all the bold colors to it. It's getting darker right now, but I can make another video during the sunlight. And this one's definitely really cool. Let's check it out. This one, you can shake it up and down. It's back and forth, side to side. But the goal for the painting is to get the paint to cover the entire canvas. So the patterns don't matter so much, right? In my opinion, anyways. There's another angle right there. The patterns don't matter so much because you can't replicate the patterns, right? You can replicate the process to get similar patterns, but each painting is going to be different. That's why, if you understand that, then I mean you're not going to get upset if you can't replicate it, right? But the goal is to cover the entire canvas. Since this was my first one, I didn't get the entire canvas covered. So I was just like messing around and trying to mix the colors. <coughs> oh, there we go. And uh, this one... I wanted to cover the entire canvas, so that's when I started covering the entire canvas. And I said, hey, this is pretty cool, let me make a third one. So on the third one, that's how it came out. And uh, I, I personally think this is my best one. I mean, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. But uh, other stuff on the channel too, I got just me painting, but um, I can definitely talk about the process of what I do I think is really interesting and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that want to try and do this stuff if you go on Facebook or Instagram any of those type of things every now and then you'll see a video of someone making a painting so uh, yeah that's those are my paintings so till next time I'll show you guys one last pan of all of them there they are got those and we'll end on this one 
that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Help me get famous. Later.